You guys are reporting about this uh, this iWatch trademarking. What does this tell us? Well, I mean, clearly Apple is sending a signal that they're that they're working on something. They want to have the name patented, just trademarked, just in case. We don't know that that's exactly what they're going to call this device. They can call it anything they want. But I, you know, has traditionally been the way that they characterize their new their new products in particular. Um, and they're, you know, as we reported in February, they've got a huge squadron of a hundred engineers and other people working on some kind of a watch-like. Product, what it's going to look like, what the functionality is going to be like, really remains to be seen. But you have to imagine something that's going to tap into the communication capabilities that you have on the iPhone, the music capabilities available on the iPod and in the uh, in the iTunes Store. And maybe communicate. I mean, the, the stuff available on the wrist right now is kind of amazing. I, I'm, I'm rocking a little bit of it right now. I'm like Gallagher. I work with props. Uh, uh, so I got. I'm, as long as you don't upstage me with this your is arm. a watch. You're familiar with these things. This is the jawbone up, which is like a pedometer. It's measuring my steps. This is a heart rate monitor and a watch and a stopwatch. I don't actually usually wear all of these things at once, but it kind of starts to show you the innovation that's 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 happening on the wrist. It's happening wearable already. Right. Is there a notion, either through reading whatever in the patents or the, or the size of their team, that Apple's going to take this to another level? Well, you know what they try to do is come into a come into a, uh, an, in, a, a, a an industry and revolutionize it and do it better, do it right. more elegantly, do it more sleekly. I mean, because the it iPod with, it was was there were plenty of MP3 players out there. Right. The, the technology wasn't especially different. The store was different. The interface was different. They did it better stylistically. It's a it's an elegant way of handling it. Before you had to you know carry around stuff that was much bulkier, less attractive. I mean, you know. When, I, when Apple comes into a new product area, they bring a lot of expertise to bear. They bring that style, that elegance, but they also bring an ecosystem. Remember, you've got the iTunes Store, you've got all this entertainment downloadable and now shareable among more and more devices. The more devices they get into, they're working on TV. They've been talking about that as well. So it's another way of you kind of tying you into the Apple ecosystem. Why is all this stuff happening at once? I mean, again, Fitbit, I mentioned the jawbone up. Uh, Emily mentioned Samsung. We also know Sony's working on some wearable watch-like devices. Is, is there some technological thing, or is there just the search for a new thing to sell? <laughs> There's always that. <laughs> There's always that. And don't forget. I mentioned Chevron probably for the first time in a Bloomberg West Brock. Maybe they're working on one too. I don't know. Don't forget Google Glass, right? right? I mean, and there's this, there's this desire to use technology to make it more useful, make it more, you know, everyday practical. You know, you're, you're monitoring your health, your heart rate, how many steps you take. I think you told me the other day you can tell how many times you climbed a, 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 a flight well, of stairs, stairs in yes, a yes. given day. I mean, this is like kind of the new. Also, you know, probably out of breath. Know yes. yourself wearable. Uh, know thyself uh, area of technology where you can use it going beyond just entertaining yourself, going beyond just communicating with other people, but also, you know, one would hope being able to kind of be know yourself and your and your 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 food intake and your your heart rate and all these things about yourself in, in a better way. We I, I, I struggle when I look at this to understand if, if Apple's looking at demographic trends, uh, the aging of the baby boomers both here and, and worldwide. Or if this is about Tim Cook and his personal experience, because we know that he's an athlete. Yeah, when he works out, he he's going to think about how do I use this stuff. And and remember, I mean, Apple prides itself on being able to tell the market before the market is even ready for something that this is something that you're going to you're you're going to want to know about. I mean, again, I I keep harping on this health idea. Healthcare costs are rising. If there's a way that you can you know preempt having to go in for some kind of a major you know, ma major uh, procedure, you know, all the better to know it.